Hello there. Um, aggregate demand. We, we've already looked at consumption. We, we look, we, we, in another video, I've talked about the, the, the influences on consumption. But what about this one, investment? Investment is spending by firms on, on capital equipment, capital goods, goods that make other goods. And in fact, investment can be gross investment or it can be net investment, because gross investment is all the spending that, that, that uh, firms do. But in fact, of all the spending that they do, three quarters of that is just replacing stock that's been worn out or needs, just needs replacing because of depreciation. Only about 25% of spending, on investment spending, gross investment, is truly net investment. That's addition to the capital stock of the country. Only about 25%. What makes firms decide to invest? I'm talking about investment in human capital, training, um, and educating uh, their workers, and investment on physical capital, the machinery, computers, and buildings. What makes firms invest? Well, there are two theories, uh, two strong theories that, that, uh, that have been put forward to try and suggest what influences businesses' decisions to invest. And these are the MEC, the Marginal Efficiency of Capital Theory, and the accelerator theory. And I'm sure you'll agree with me, uh, there's truth in both of these theories. Um, let me just run through them very briefly for you. The MEC theory, first of all, suggests that the level of investment is dependent upon the rate of interest. The rate of interest, interest rates. Um, it, it goes like this. A firm at any time um, has possible plans about how to invest a possible decision to, to build a new factory or to kit out the, the, the business with new computers or whatever. They have ideas and they have expectations of what returns that investment will give them. Imagine that you're running a business and imagine that you have an investment plan to build a new factory and you calculate it's going to give you back 5% increased uh, returns. You check the newspaper and you see that currently interest rates are 3%. You can borrow money at 3%. Is it worth borrowing money at 3% to fund a project that gives you back 5%? Yes, it is. An investment would occur. But what if those interest rates were 8%? Who would borrow money at 8% to finance a project that only gives back 5%? No one. So you can see now how a rise in interest rates reduces investment because when there is a rise in interest rates it must mean that across the land there are firms, businesses who've just seen potential investment projects that they were about to borrow money for no longer worth pursuing. Okay, so a rise in interest rates reduces the amount of investment. Conversely, a fall in interest rates will increase investment because Certain projects which were not viable are now worth borrowing money for. But hang on a sec, because not all investment is paid for out of borrowed money. A lot of businesses fund their investment from previous year's profits. Still, the marginal efficiency of capital theory of investment has an answer, because it says, that, well, if you're, if you're running a business and you're sitting on a hundred million pounds worth of profits, and you've got an investment plan, there's always an alternative of just saving your profits and collecting interest. So again, whether or not to pursue investment depends upon what you're giving up, the opportunity cost of just saving your money and collecting invest, uh, interest. Again, it's related to the rate of interest. So that's the MEC theory, which says investment is, is all about the rate of interest. But then there's the Keynesian accelerator theory. The accelerator theory says it's not about the rate of interest. It's about changes in people's income. The accelerator theory literally says that investment is driven by, pre by previous or past changes in people's income, incre increases in their income. Um, if there is a general rise in wages, people have more money to spend, so they consume more. They want to consume more. Firms have to respond to that by making more. To make more, you have to invest in capital stock, in new capital stock. So the, the investment is a response to the extra consuming power of the public. If the public want to buy more, firms will have to invest. And when will the public want to buy more? When they've had a rise in their income. 
as the accelerator theory. I'm sure there's truth in both of those theories. Um, they both seem to make sense, don't they? Okay, thank you.